And according to the Center for Disease Control, more than 600 people in the U.S. are killed by extreme heat every year. That's right. As part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health, Seth News' Jennifer Martin sat down with the doctor of internal medicine for tips on staying safe in the summer. When it comes to preventing heat exhaustion and heat stroke, keeping an eye on the weather report is the first line of defense, according to Bon Secours internal medicine physician Robert Ritchie. I think that 95 degrees would be the cutoff, as far as I'm concerned, about any outdoor activity. In the elderly on medication, I would say 85 degrees. Dehydration, he says, can lead to heat exhaustion, which is marked by dizziness and cold, clammy skin. If they're still conscious, you can hydrate them. An emergency situation is a heat stroke, a form of hyperthermia. When you get your temperature gets to be 105, that's really hyperthermia. 106, 107, you're going to have some permanent effects. You may become deaf uh, for life. Dr. Ritchie says to call 911 immediately if you notice these signs. Not sweating, dry mouth, if they have garbly speech, and uh, just remember dry scorched skin. For most adults who aren't exercising, he recommends swapping sports drinks for water and eating melons and oranges. They have plenty of potassium and magnesium and calcium, which are the other electrolytes. We only think about sodium and chloride. According to the CDC, infants and children, adults over the age of 65, and those with heart disease or high blood pressure are most at risk. In extremely hot temperatures, the CDC strongly recommends avoiding alcohol and caffeine and suggests checking in on older adults at risk twice a day to watch for signs of heat stroke. I'm Jennifer Martin, 7 News. And uh, to hear from more experts at Bon Secours on this topic and others, listen every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on 106.3 WORD Radio. All right, and remember to submit your health questions for our series. Visit our website, click the News tab, then click Ask the Expert.